What's going on YouTube? My name is Genius, bringing you guys more ranked singles battles for Pokemon Sword. Before this video even starts, if you find yourself enjoying the content at any time, or you would like to see more, smash that like button for me, click that big red subscribe button, and let me know in the comments section down below. So guys, in today's video, we're rocking a Milotic Mimikyu Braviary team right here. And I know, I know, it's not a standard single team, but we're here to have some fun, so I decided to rock out with it. If you'd like to use this team for yourself, Right the code is at the bottom of the screen, but rocking behind our face cam is a Life Orb, Mimikyu, Rocket Shadow, Sneak, Sword Stance, Play Rough, and Shadow Claw. This thing can absolutely set up and be a beast throughout the match. Next, we're rocking this tank of a Milo tick right here with Protect, Skull, Recover, and Icy Wind. Rocking Leftovers on it too, which is awesome. She's an absolute tank and can do some work. Then, we're going with Braviary right here. This is actually my first time using him in online battles. He's rocking Protect Tailwind. Tailwind will boost the speed of allied Pokemon. We got Superpower and Brave Bird, and it's rocking a Mago Berry. Then we got a Weakness Policy Darmanitan. This thing can be a beast. If you set off its Weakness Policy, whoo, that is game over. This thing's rocking Protect, Superpower, Icicle Crash, and Flare Blitz, which is nice. Then we got an Arcanine, which is always good. Actually rocking, I think, the same exact moveset in the last one? No. No, it's not the same exact move set. He's rocking an electric move wild charge instead of the fairy move that we had on our other Arcanine. But he is an absolute beast. He is choice bandit right here with intimidate. So we can drop the opponent's attack, which is nice. And then we got Draco Fish right here with strong jaw. And he is choice scarf. This thing can crush it with that Fecious Rend. Woo! That thing does some mean work. Then it has Crunch for its strong jaw and Ice Fang, which is nice. And Dragon Rush to clean up the dragons and all that good stuff. But guys, like I said, if you want to use this team for yourself, code is at the bottom of the screen. If you enjoyed the content, make sure you smash it. And let me know. I also really want to know, would you guys like to see me do double battles? I'm down to do them. I have lots of teams that I could use and show you guys. But I just need you guys to let me know in the comment section down below. But without further ado, let's get into the battles. Here we go. Hopping into our first match. This guy's rocking a Konamo'o, Dragapult, Mimikyu, Haxorus, Cramorant, and a Corviknight. I see him going in with that Corviknight. We might actually lead... With oh, he could be leading with that uh Cramorant, but I say we still lead with our Arcanine choice band. I think we can one shot that Cramorant with our wild charge. So, yeah, Arcanine, you coming in here, big dog. Come on, then we're gonna bring in our did we go Milotic? Milotic could be potentially very strong here. I think we're gonna go into our Milotic and then our Darmanitan. Hmm, what is the call? What is the call? Do we go into our Darmanitan or do we go into our Draco Fish? Draco Fish can do some work. Yeah, let's go into our Draco Fish instead. So we're going to rock out with our Arcanine, leading that front spot, bringing our Milotic in the back end, and then our Twist Scarf, Draco Fish in the back, baby. In the back, dude. This thing's an absolute unit. Can't wait to show it off. But yo, guys, if you'd like to catch more content from me, go in the description below. Hit that link to my Twitch channel, Gene25, on Twitch. We stream four plus days every single week. If I'm not there, if I'm not live, hit that follow button. Swing by later. Seriously, it means a lot. We just made a new sick shiny hunting layout. We're going to be shiny hunting and all that good stuff. And doing some ranked battles too. But there you go. He is leading that Cramorant. Like I said, this is why we went into my Arcanine. I think we can one-tap this fool. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we can one-tap it. If not, we can eat up a shot. I don't think he knows we were rocking Wild Charge. He's probably just going to go into like a Muddy Water or something. So we're just going to go straight into a Wild Charge. This thing outspeeds us? Bruh, this thing's quick. Wow. Wow. He's going to take us out here. Maybe we'll have a double takeout here. Let's see. Boop. Take him out. Boop. Okay, he's dead. Oh, he cannot spit back because he's dead. He. What do you mean? What do you mean? We killed this guy and he still spits up? That's a joke. That is a joke, but we both faint here. Are you kidding me? Like, what is that? What is that? But that is exactly what I wanted to do. Who are we going to lead into? Um, we're not going to show our uh, choice scarf Draco Fish out. We're going to go right into the Milo tank. This thing's an absolute tank. That is some bogus, man. That's the focus. I knew we can one-shot him, but I didn't think he would outspeed us. That little funky chubby bird is going to outspeed us. Like, what you mean? Get out of my face. This thing is probably going to sword dance. He's probably going to go sword dancing. We're going to go straight into an icy wind, potentially getting that freeze, man. Yeah, I told you. He's going to sword dance. You think I'm dumb? I'm not dumb. I'm not dumb. Watch this. We're going to freeze this boy here. Ruin his day. We're going to ruin his day. Then we're going to go into some scaldy poos. So, show him in the freeze. Oh, we're dropping something. We're dropping his speed. His guys just drop. I don't know if this move does freeze. I guess it just drops at uh, what's it called speed. But his disguise is busted. We're gonna go into a skull now. Start ripping him up. Let's see what he does. I can see him potentially Dynamax. He's probably Life Orb. He is Sword Stance right now. So let's see what happens. I see us just soaking up shots. I see us absolutely soaking up his shots. 
Come on, buddy. What are you going to do? You're not going to swap out. He's not going to swap out and lose his stats, his plus two. And then his disguise is already busted. What do you want? What do you want, fool? What are you going to do? I think he's deciding whether he wants a Dynamax or not. He does not Dynamax. We get this Scald off here. Let's do some work on him. Show me the burn. Show me the burn. Nope, no burn. Wow. Gonna double up on the Swords Dance. Oh, we Dynamax him. We Dynamax. We got to get this thing out the way here. Let's go into the Max Geyser here. Or no. Let's go into the Max Hailstorm because we do get the buffets going. Where do we want to go into the Max Geyser? Mm, the tough one. Let's go into the Max Geyser and set the rain right off the bat because we can bring in our Draco Fish and just eat up after that. We can just eat up after that considering our Draco Fish has that fish just rent. And he has Choice Scarf. He would totally outspeed this thing. Take it out. So we're going to set this rain. Get this Max Geyser going. Look at this thing's health. His health is like, isn't it like 400 or something? Which is not like too, too much. Let's see it. 404, which is not too, too much. But it, this thing soaks up hits like crazy. Is this thing going to Dynamax? He's going to Dynamax. Yeah, I do. I thought so. Goes for the second Sword Dance. This thing is plus four attack. But I still see us possibly eating up a shot. And then potentially doing some work on it. Even if this thing does go out, I can see our Draco Fish whooping with that Fish's run. Rip. Let's go, let's go. I just want to set this rain. He's going to outspeed us. Go. No, we outspeed him because we dropped his speed. Can we take him out here? That would be a beaut. This thing could be life orb. So he could take him, his own self out here. No, he's not going to take his own self out here. But we get this rain going. All we got to do is survive one hit. The rain is coming. The rain is coming. So Max Phantasm. He is plus four. Eat it, buddy. Eat it. Woo! That's how it's done. That's how it's done. So our defense is going to fall. Competitive is going to come here. Nice little ability. Our special attack is going to raise sharply, which is awesome. He's going to lose some of his HP. We're going to gain some back. Now, the real call is, do we go into a max guard? No, I say we just go straight into a max geyser here. We should outspeed, like I said, because this thing cannot shrink down and go back into a shadow sneak. It's a good play call by me. This thing's going to max guard. Try to waste out his turns. He knows he's done. He knows he's done. We'll take another leftovers. That's fine by me. Start stacking up our Milo tick. Yeah! Good call by me to actually go into that Dynamax with this Milo tick. Eat up that shot and be able to take out this plus four Mimikyu. This plus four Mimikyu. And we dropped its speed with the Icy Wind. That was a good starter move, too. Looking good. Looking good, Jeans. Here we go. Here we go. What you want? It's going to max guard again. But it failed. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. See you later. But yo, guys, I want to thank you guys also on 200 subs. We just surpassed that milestone. Yo, thank you guys so much. Our channel is growing. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content. Thank you guys so much for showing it and supporting the channel. But there we go. Mimikyu is out. We are down to his last Pokemon. We get that leftovers, too. We might go into a recover. Or no, we might go into protect, then a recover. Ooh, we. That could be the play call. Depending on his last Pokemon, I think it's going to be the Corvo. We are special attack, which is fine. It's a Dragapult. This thing is probably going to outspeed us. We're going to go straight into the Protect. We're going to go straight into the Protect. And then we're going to recover up. That, that is our plan. Okay, come on. Come on. Show me that. Show me that Protect. Get a little bit of leftovers. I don't know. Are we going to eat up a shot? He's going to hex. See? Protect it, boy. Protect it. Uh, yeah, we're going to go into the recover. The rain is going to wear off before a Draco Fish even gets a chance. But he attacks second, which is awesome. And the Fish is will do double damage. We're going to try to pull off this recover here. We're going to try to pull off this recover. He's going to go into another Hex. Come on, eat it up, Milotic. Eat it up, buddy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Told you this thing is an absolute tank. What was that? Was that a recover? Give me that recover. Bringing my health back up. We're going to go to back-to-back -back recovers. That is what we're going to do. We're going to go back to back covers. This guy is probably just going to hit the bounce of boogie and get out of here. Or do we go into an icy win? Now we're going to go back to back recovers and then go into our icy win. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Yo, we got this in a bag. In the bag. My little tick. It's an absolute unit. Unit, I tell you guys. He's going to go for a light screen. That's actually kind of smart. That is kind of smart. But we're just going to keep uh, taking it down. We're just going to keep taking it down little by little. We have plenty of recovers to use. So I don't mind just stalling you out. <laughs> hey, full health. Thank you so much, buddy. We're just going to go into an icy wind. See how much damage we can do. Can't believe this thing's locking a rocking light screen. He's going to go with the Will-O-Wisp. Smart play. Smart play. Smarty pants. 
We're just gonna keep trying to drop his speed because our Draco fish can come and come in here and run stuff. Let's go with the icy wind. Meow. Do some work on him. Not too much because he's rocking that light screen. Still decent enough. Pretty good. Not bad. He's probably a clear body, so I don't think we can lower his speed too well. But we're just gonna go into yet another icy wind. This does decent damage for light screen. Pretty solid damage. We're gonna take this match away from him. We're gonna take this away from him. He has no way of healing up either. So we are chilling. The burn's gonna do some more damage. We're gonna go into an icy wind. <laughs> Avoided the attack. Get out of my face. Get out of my face, little boy. That's some bogus, man. How we avoid how they avoid an attack. But our leftovers just kind of cancels out the what's it called? The burn, so it's fine. He's gonna go into yet another hex, and we're just gonna recover up after this turn and get another shot off. Don't take us out. Ew! We're gonna go here it comes to recover. Yeah! Do we go into another one or are we kinda in a standstill spot? I think we're kinda in a standstill spot. Which is tough. So we're just gonna go for another ice wind, trying to wear off this uh, what's it called? This uh light screen. We're gonna go into an icy wind and try to uh do some more work on him. I'm just trying to wear out this light screen. I probably should have went for a protect. We'll probably go for a protect next turn to try to wear off that light screen. He's gonna go for another hex. We should eat this up. Be in the red though. We're starting to get lower and lower. There we go. 26. Icy wind's gonna pop off here. Do some work. Only if that other one landed. We probably would have killed him here. Do some work. Nice work. Drop the speed. Leftovers gonna pop off here. Did the light screen wear off? It depends if the light screen wore off. If we're gonna go into a protect. Let's see. I think Draco Fish. Yeah, Draco Fish is physical, but I just wanna play it safe. I just wanna play it safe. Now we're chilling, we're chilling. It will wear off after uh, this turn, I believe. I could check it, but I don't really want to. This hex will take us out. This guy's trying to survive. He doesn't even know that we're Choice Scarf, so we should outspeed him and just finish him off here. Say bye bye, buddy. Night night. Let's go. Get in there. Get in there, Draco Fish. We're gonna go for an Ice Fang. Considering we are strong, John, this will do some work. This will do some work. This should finish him off easily. Strong jaw, ice bang. Dude, everything is super effective. What's more? Where should we go? We're gonna go straight for the crunch, dude. Crunch does more work. It's 15 more power on him. I don't think he knows that we're choice scarf. Let's see. Let's see. He still outspeeds. He goes for the will o wisp. You dumb, you dumb. That is the game, ladies and gentlemen. GG. GG. Crunch is gonna come in here and finish off this match with our strong jaw. Super effective. And put this game away. That's how you get started, baby. That's how you do it. Milo Tick was so good. Comes up so clutch. Just stalls out turns and all that good stuff. Gets us that W. Hopping into match number two. This guy's rocking a Grim Snarl, Dragapult, Corviknight, Toga Kiss, Rotom Wash, and an Extra Joe. Also, guys, if you have other rental teams, single rental teams, or other teams that we, you would like to see me use, leave the codes and all that good stuff in the comments. I would love to use people's uh, codes and all that stuff. But first look on this team is... We might have to bring that Milo tick again. That thing is a unit. That thing is a unit. We might actually go with this Braviary. Braviary could potentially do some work. Could potentially do some work. Let's see. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. Or oh, dude, that Arcanine's gotta come with. Does it? Eh. Let's rock that Darmanitan. I said we go Darmanitan. Let's start. Let's throw him a curveball here. We're gonna lead with our Darmanitan. Cause I see him potentially lead him either with that Rotom or the what's it called? With the extra drill, maybe. But we're going to lead with our Darmanitan. Bring our Braviary and our Milo tank. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. I think that could be a potentially awesome play right here. Let's go. No, no Arcanine. We don't want you, buddy. We do not want you. But there we go. Perfect. We're going to set up this way. I see him probably being that Rotom. But we'll go into our Darmanitan. No problem. We get our nice little... What is it? He has a fighting move, doesn't he? We can rock out with that. And get going. Or is he? No, he's not rocking a grass move. Why did I think he was rocking a grass move? Oh, because I was going to use a different team with with a what's called? With a Flygon with a grass move. But he's going to lead something the road time. Yeah, I was going to say something in this love ball looking thing. But here we go. Darmantan's going to rock the front spot for a second. See him possibly bolt switching out. Let's see how we're going to roll out here. We could go into a superpower, but I don't really want to. It's going to lower our stats and all that stuff. We're just going to go into a protect. See what he's going to do. Is he going to bolt switch? I can see him possibly bolt switching. Which is going to be tough. We're going to have to eat out the Volt Switch by ourselves. Hopefully he just hard swaps. Hopefully he just hard swaps. Because that Rotom could eat up our Bravey Ari. And our... What's it called? Our Milo Tick. Come on. What you want, fool? What are you going to go for? What is taking you so long to pick a decision, man? I hope he has Flamethrower. Sets off a weakness policy. Then we just start murking on this fool. 
We're going to go for the protect. See what he's going to go for. I'm predicting that bolt switch is coming out here. Maybe he's going for the T-bolt. Yeah, there's the bolt switch. He should still switch out with the protect. That, that should be how it is, but it's whatever. We go into... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do we go straight into a max knuckle here? I don't want to hard swap out. That is the thing. I do not want to hard swap out. Let me see something real quick on him. I mean, we could probably eat up a shot with our Milo tick. Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Um, he'll definitely one tap our Braviary. I don't. Let's check. Uh, let's check our special defense here. Let's check our Milo tick special defense. Eh, it's better than his regular defense. I want to hold on to that Darmanitan. We're actually going to go straight to a Dynamax Max Knuckle out here. Yeah, this is what we're going to do. We are fast. We will be able to eat up a shot from whatever he's going to throw at us. And we got to get this Rotom out the way. So that's why we're going to go straight for the Dynamax with this Darmanitan. Start doing some work on this Rotom. Because if this Rotom can survive, then it will just, it's just going to run our team. I hope he switches out and we can eat up something with that weakness policy. He set it off and start storming through his team with this bad boy. Let's go. Racking up that health. This thing's an absolute unit. This thing's an absolute unit. We do outspeed. He is... Oh, no. He, he probably is going for the Volt Switch. We're going to go straight into the Max Knuckle. Do some work on him. Nice, nice, nice. What is he going to do? He's probably going to Volt Switch out. And we're going to raise our attack for the next hit. He's going to Volt Switch out. We eat that up. No problem. Whatever his next Pokemon is that is going to come in, we're going to do some work on it. No problem. No problem. I can see him Dynamax. We're attacks plus one now. And we have a very versatile moveset here. Corvo's going to come out here. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. We are rocking Max Flare. We're going to set this drought up for my boy. For my boy, Darmanitan. Hopefully this thing does use something that is super effective against me. I can see this thing potentially iron defensing. But that's fine. We're going to... He's going to die to Max. Then he's just going to go for a Max uh, Airstream. Or he's going to Max Guard. Is he going to max guard? Yeah, I can see a max garden off the first turn. He's going to max guard either the first or the second turn. Which I'd rather him do the second turn. Let's set this drought up. I want to get this drought going here. Let's go. Let's see what he does. Max guard. Yeah, see, I told him he was... I told you he was either going first or second turn. I can see him potentially going for it again. Risking it for the biscuit. But there is a chance it will fail. So I don't know if he's going to risk it. But if he can pull off a double max guard. Whew, that could be nasty. That could be gross. Our attack is plus one. We do outspeed. He's not going for the max guard. We're going to do some work on him here. Let's go. Get him down past half here. And now we're going to drop down. We're going to drop down. But we set this drought here. So our next hit, if we can survive this, we should be fine. Max heal spike is going to pop out. Eat it up. Eat it. Oh my god, dude. If we would have ate that, that would have been game. That would have been game. He got a crit. That's why. Are you serious? A weakness policy would have popped off there and we would have owned it. That would have been game. This guy gets a lucky crit, man. Ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Um, Who are we going to go into? I guess we're going to go into our Milo tick. Our Milo tick will be able to eat up a couple attacks. Plus, he has special attack. And this thing could just raise his defense and all that good stuff. So, we're going to potentially go for a burn chance here. That's what we're going to do. Go right into a skull. A burn would be beautiful. But this is... This Corviknight's last turn. It will outspeed us. We will eat up the shot, though. This thing's an absolute tank. They're going to have to get, like, a burn on us or something. Or I can see him hard swapping out into that Rotom Wash. That could be a potential play. But I think he's going to use his last Max Airstream here. We're going to do some work on here. Just teensy bit. Get the burn. That's what I wanted. Let's go. Get that nice little burn here. We'll eat up this Max Knuckle. And I think he's going to uh, hard swap into the Rotom. Oh my god, we eat that up so easily. And that was a crit. How's this guy getting back-to-back -back crits? What is he holding on to? Is he holding a leak, dude? Jesus, that thing was a crit and we ate it. But this burn's gonna do some work on it, which is beautiful. That'll eventually take out that core grenade. So I'm not too worried, unless this thing is rocking Roost. It could be rocking Roost. So do we go for another Scald? I think we go right back into another Scald here. Do some work. This thing's po probably going to roost. It's going to roost. Or it's going to go for a protect. He's going to withdraw. Go into his Rotom Wash, which is fine by me. I'm going to have to keep this uh, big dog out here. We're going to go for a burn on him. That would be huge. Come on, get it. Get that burn. Get it. Nope. Oh, we did get it. <laughs> just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. This thing's probably going to go into a T-Bolt. So we might just go into a Recover and start letting this uh, thing uh, die by the burn. 
We could start letting this thing die by the burn. We're going to drop into a recover. I do not want to go into my Braviary. Oh, what do you mean? We outsped this thing? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? Well, that's good to know that we do outspeed this thing. That is good to know. We're just gonna we're just gonna stall this one out. My little tick's gonna stall this one out. We're gonna go for a protect here. Let the burn just do its work. You guys know what I'm saying? We're just gonna let the burn do its work. Go into a protect right here. We got both this Pokemon burned with the scald. My Milo tick could potentially stall this game out. There you go. We protected ourselves. He's gonna go for a discharge. Nice. Only way he's gonna take us out is if he gets that paralyzed. But the sunlight does fade off. Which is fine. We don't have any Pokemon with fire moves. Leftover is going to pop off. We're going to regain just a teensy bit of health. Just start annoying this guy. And we're going to go straight into a recover. We're going to go straight into a recover here. We do outspeed. Because we did drop its speed earlier, right? No, I don't know why we outspeed. I don't think we did drop its speed. But beautiful. Recover is going to come out here. Restore us all the way back up to the top. Oh, no. We're down. We're missing one. He's going to go into a discharge. He's going to do some work on us. We'll eat that up. Again, we'll go into another recover, which is fine. Which is fine. We're just going to burn him out. We're just going to burn him out. Play this one smart. Burn's going to pop off here. This guy is salty. Did we go into another protect? Yeah, let's go into another protect here. Just a... Uh, what's it called? Just so he doesn't get the what's it called. Wow, he does hard swap. That's tough. Who's he going to go out into? His third and final Pokemon, probably. Right here, the Dragapult pops off here. We're going to go... The protect doesn't really do much. We're going to eat up shots. We're going to go straight into a... What's it called? We're going to go straight into an Icy Wind, I believe. Or no. Let's go for a recover. Let's start off with a recover. We're just going to play it slow. We're going to play it slow and say... I see us just eating up shots. That's what I see us doing. Let's go. Dragon is going to come out here. We should be able to eat it up. We should be able to eat it up. No problem. We got a crit. That's why. Are you... What is up with this guy in crit? Like, are you serious? Fine by me. We're going to go into back-to-back -back recovers here. Because this guy gets a lucky crit, man. It's his second. That's, no, that's his third crit. But his second lucky one. But they're all lucky. <laughs> but here we go. Do we go into an icy wind? No, we're going to go into yet another recover. We're just going to stall this fool out. We're just going to stall him out here. Let's see. I can see him just leaving the match, dude. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. We're playing it slow and smart. Slow and smart is the key. What is he going to do? He doesn't have his Dynamax anymore. He has two burned Pokemon. This Dragon Pole cannot do too much work on us. Once we get full health, we'll just start throwing Icy Winds down. He's going to withdraw. We get a free recover. Thank you very much. He's going to go back out into his Rotom or his Corviknight. Corviknight's going to come out here. Take a nice little burn shot, which is fine by me. We're going to go straight into an Icy Wind. Did we go into an Icy Wind? No, we're going to go straight into a, what's it called? A Skull. A nice little Bernie. Because I can see this guy going into a Roost, so that's why we're going to go right into the Skull. Could be crazy. This could be crazy. This could just be a stall match between the Milo Tick and us. <laughs> or no, Milo Tick and him. But Skull's gonna pop up. Can we take him out here? Come on, take him out. Take him out. No, if he roosts, I'm gonna be mad. Iron Defense pops off. See you later. Your Corviknight is done for. The Iron Defense does nothing against me, buddy. We're special attacker. We are special attacking. Take him out. Nope, does not take him out. But we are chilling. We're just gonna go straight into an icy wind right here. Reason we are going to go into the Icy Wind is in case he swaps out into the Dragapult. But no, he does not. We take out that Corviknight, baby. We take out that Corviknight. Miglatic's going to end this match up. I can see him leaving. He's probably going to go into his Dragapult. I can see him going into his Dragapult. We're just going to throw an Icy Wind at him at that point. If he goes into his Rotom, we're just going to throw an Icy Wind at him. Do a little bit more work. I know that this charge could pop off here. We do outspeed. But we're going to go straight. Do we go into the Icy Wind? Yeah, we're going to go into the Icy Wind. Potentially drop his speed just a little bit more. I know we're not going to do that much damage. And we do outspeed. But it is always nice to get that uh, speed lowered once again. There we go. A little bit of damage. It's the speed drop. His speed does drop. And we can go into a recover for the next turn, baby. We just can't be paralyzed. That's the only thing. That is the only thing. Don't you dare get paralyzed. Perfect. Perfect. We're actually going to go into a protect first. This is the only thing. This is the only thing is that Rotom. Burn him up. Burn him up. Protect is going to pop off here. And then we'll roll out into a recover. Just to get that burn to do a little bit more damage each time. The burn is going off, man. MVP is burn. <laughs> Yo, dude, this guy's so mad. He's not having it. He's not having it. My little tick OP. He's OP. We're going <laughs> to rock out into a what's called. We could finish him off here, but... I want to save this. I want to. I don't want to lose the match. I don't want to come this far just to lose this match right here. 
Recover, baby! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> That's gonna bring us up all the way up to 199. He's gonna go for a discharge. I'm waiting for him to miss. He's waiting to get a paralyze. We're gonna deal a little bit more Bernie Sanders action on him. And we're gonna drop it to another protect. Oh, dude, this guy's so mad. He's so mad. Protect coming out. The stall game. The stall game. Like, you're, you should just leave. This guy should just leave the match. <laughs> we have him on lockdown. We have him on lockdown. I can see him leaving the match right now. Like, it's legit just a lockdown match. We're not running out of recoveries or protects anytime soon. This game is done. It's over with. Milo Tick just stormed your team. I can see him switching out into that Dragapult, which is fine by me. Again, we will eat up another shot, and then we'll go into a double recover, and then go into an icy win. See, there goes the, what's called, the withdrawal. Which is fine, dude. Like, I don't care. How does this thing regain health? Does this thing regenerate it? Did we do damage to it before? Does this thing regenerate it? That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. We're going to go straight into a recover. This thing has to be regenerated, right? His ability, because he's not, I don't think he's, uh, clear-bodied. I don't think he's clear-bodied. Well, let's see what he actually does. He's probably going to go into a Dragon Darts. I would love to see him go into a Phantom Force. That would be nice. A will o is going to pop off here. Okay. Okay. He's going to burn us. We're going to get a nice little recover here. Then we're going to go straight into an Icy Wind. Then should get a speed drop. But let's go. Do, or do we go for the burn? No, I say we just go straight for that Icy Wind. And start teeing him off here. But still, our leftovers just counteract that burn. So that's fine. But what happened? Our leftovers didn't trigger that? Oh no, because they go before the burn. They go before the burn. Let's pop off into an icy wind here. And start doing some work. It's gonna go for the dragon darts. We eat that up, no problem. No problem, no problem at all. Eat that up. I think we might go for another, what's it called? Do we go for, no. We're gonna go for an icy wind. I was gonna say, do we go back to back icy winds? No, we're gonna go straight for a recover. Do some work on him. Drop his speed, potentially? Yes, he's not clear body. He's not clear body. That's nice to know. Leftovers is going to pop off here. And we're going to go into another recover. Dude, I'm telling you. I'm just going to play this match slow. I'm just playing this slow. This guy's trying to get it. We're going to go into another recover. Or do we go into a protect? No, because he's not burned. Protect doesn't really do much. We're going to go into a recover. He's going to go into a dragon darts. Which is fine. Which is fine. You know what's crazy? Uh, I don't think recover can miss. Right? i never seen it miss. I don't think. I don't think it can. But we chilling here. <laughs> Can this guy just leave the match already? I got you on lockdown, buddy. This game is over. It's over. <laughs> this is probably one of my longest matches so far. Jesus, man. What is he going to do? I can see him hard swap it out, but that's a free recover for us. And then another burn chance for the what's it called. He's going to go into a dragon ants. Wow. Well, not dragon ants. Uh, dragon darts. Just out. Wait. Didn't we hit recover? Ow! Oh! He gets a crit, dude. What is up with you and the crits, man? What is up with this dude and the crits? We're going to recover. We're going to go into another Icy Wind. Oh, my God, man. It's match. Jesus. We're going into an Icy Wind. I'm done playing this game. <laughs> Icy Wind's going to pop off here. Let's do some work. Because then we're just going to go into our, our Braviary. I think our Braviary can do some work anyway. Let's see what he does. I can see him maybe hard swapping out. Nope, Dragon Dark's gonna he's gonna go for the kill. I think we might be able to eat it up. He's, if he doesn't get another crit. Is that another crit? Why is this thing critting every single time? Like I just don't get it. And we miss. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I gotta check out this dude's team after this battle. He's got every Pokemon's gotta be holding a leak. Like, it's just ridiculous. Okay, our Milotic's gonna go out here. Like, this thing's critting every turn it gets. Every single turn. Let's see, is this a crit? Okay, I was gonna say. Oh, Jesus, but Braviary is gonna pop out here. We are chilling. We are chilling. We're gonna go straight into a Brave Burn. A Brave Burn's gonna pop out here. Do some damage on him. I don't think he's... This guy's definitely not rocking a Thunder move. But I can see him hard swapping out, which is fine by me. It's definitely fine by me. Two Brave Birds should... Well, the Rotom will be dead if he, sw if he hard swaps out. But I can see him hard swapping out considering he is a Regenerator with his ability. So he's going to regain some health with his Dragapult. What are you going to do? Are you going to regain some health before you go out? Let's see. 
Nope, he's just gonna take the hit. We're gonna come up hot here. Built, take him out. Bang! Brave Yari coming in clutch. Jesus! The longest match ever right here. This is the longest match ever. We're gonna go into a... Do we go into a Protect? Do we go into a Los Ninos Protect? Or do we go... I believe we should outspeed the Rotom. That's the thing. Its speed is down. But it did hard swap out, so... We're gonna go straight into a Superpower for the win! Outspeed him, Brave Yari. Boom! Game over! Game set match! Finally, the longest match I think I ever played. That was a crazy long match, but that is how you get it done, yo. We waited that out, played it smoothly, and we get that victory. Here we go, hopping into our third match right here. I just checked out that last guy's team. He had no leaks. He was just getting all lucky crits. It was crazy. I was like, what do you mean? But this guy's rocking a T-Tar, Dragon Point, Mimikyu, Rotom, Fire, Pizza Oven, the guy, Hydrogon, and a Vola B. Or is this a Vola Buzz? There's two of them, but you guys know who it is. So with that said, does Arcanine come in clutch with us again? I can see him leading that, what's it called? That Rotom. I'm going to go straight into my Darmantan and try to pull off that uh, weakness policy. I'm going to go straight into a Dynamax and try to pull off that weakness policy here. So Darmantan is going to rock that front spot. We're going to bring, um, who else are we going to bring here? We're going to bring our Milo Tick once again, considering that thing is a beast. That thing is a beast. And then we're going to roll out with our Mimikyu. I think that is the call. We're going to lead with our weakness policy, Darmantan. Possibly set that off because I can see him rolling straight out into that Rotom. I see him rolling out into that Rotom. So if we could go right into a Dynamax. If he if he has that Rotom out in the front spot, we're going to go straight into a Dynamax. Soak up that heat. Overheat, probably. Or one of his fire moves. And then go straight after him. That is the plan. That is the play call. Possibly set up a Hailstorm, too. That could be nice. Because if we could set off that weakness policy. Ooh, wee! Do some work, baby. Work! That's what I'm hoping. That is the plan. Bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Do, 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 bam, bam. Oh. <laughs> right, let's see who he rolls out into. Let's see it, ladies and gents. Come on, show me that rope, Tom. Show it to me. Ah, the Hydreigon, which is actually fine by me. Fine by me. We're going to do some work right off the bat here. This thing could be rocking a flamethrower. We're going to go straight into an Icicle Crash. Or do we go Dynamax Hailstorm? Do we go Dynamax? Now we're going to go straight into an Icicle Crash. Let's see it! Show me a Flamethrower! I'm thinking we should have Dynamax. I'm thinking we should have Dynamax. Hopefully this guy doesn't kill us. If he kills us, then we wasted everything. We did terrible. <laughs> But see, this guy is thinking, I'm thinking he's going to hard swap out here. I think he's going to withdraw out, hit the bounce of Boogie, and get out of here. Let's see what he does. A little hectic, a little hectic. Come on! Play something! You don't even know where your first move is! I'm obviously going for an ice move. Don't overthink it, buddy. Don't overthink it. Let's see. He goes into a U-turn, which is fine. I wish that was super effective, but it's not. We're going to go back here. Who's going to roll out into... I'm guessing that Rotom's going to come out here. If he's rocking it. If he is rocking it. Hopefully he throws like that bowl will be out. Like, dude, we have an Icicle Crash coming down to do some work. Let's see who he goes out into. Boom! The Rotom does come out. We are Dynamax the next turn. This Icicle Crash is going to come down here. And we're going to go into a... What's it called? What is it? Do we go into a... No, not a Max Fire. Ooh. No, we're going to go into a Max Hailstorm. It, oh, that was not very effective. Jesus. We're gonna go into a max knuckle here. We're gonna soak up this hit. Release our weakness policy. If this thing gets a crit on me, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. We're gonna be done YouTube forever. I'll just hand out my channel to some lucky viewer. <laughs> but let's see. We should be able to tank it up. As long as it doesn't get a crit like that last time. That's bogus, man. I wasn't having it. I wasn't having it. Let's see. What he goes into. I'm guessing overheat's gonna come out here. We're going to outspeed. Wow. Not wow. We should outspeed. But Max Knuckle is going to pop off here. Did we take him out? I wanted to set off my weakness policy. Our attack is plus one. Now we're not switching out. Let's see. Full switch. You hunk of junk. You hunk of junk. But we did do some damage to that Rotom. He's basically done for. Can he switch out and set off our weakness policy? <laughs> You're not going to go into your Hydreigon. You are not going to go into your Hydreigon. Who's he going to go into? He is going to go into a Hydreigon. 
We're gonna go right into a max hailstorm. Set off this thing. This what's it called? We're gonna set off the hailstorms. Start getting some buffets out and all that good stuff. Let's see it. Let's see it, baby. Come on. I don't know why he would just go into his rotom, take a couple hits like that, and then swap out. Maybe he's going into another U-turn. I, I don't know. But we're going to set up this Hailstorm. If he switches back to the Rotom, that thing's dead. If he stays in here, this thing's going to do work. What's he going to go into? A U-turn. That's fine by me. Show me your third Pokemon. Show me your third Pokemon. I would love to see it. I would love to see what Pokemon you are rocking. We're going to the Rotom. Take the death. And then we're chilling. So we are still chilling. Let's see who he goes into. Rotom's gonna come out, say bye-bye to the Rotom, we're gonna start a Hailstorm 2, which is nice, which is just nice. I mean, I think this guy knows we're rocking a weakness policy, considering most of our Manitans do rock the weakness policy, so I'm thinking this guy's, like, played it smartly. I'm not gonna throw any fire moves at him. I think that is what he is thinking. So this guy is actually playing it very, very smart, kind of forward our plan, because if he would've set off our weakness policy, we would've ran through his team, but there we go, we switch off into Zen mode here. Let's go, Zen mode is triggered by my boy Darmanitan. Let's get it. I think his stats do change. I think that's what happens whenever uh, he switches forms, and I think he switches typing. Let's see who he goes into. That actually could work out great for us. The Zen Moon, now I don't think he's going to come into with the Flamethrower anymore, with the Hydreigon. I was thinking he was going to go into the Hydreigon and hit me with a Flamethrower, but if we're not fully ice now, we should be able to eat up a shot. No problem. Not anymore. I mean, not with our regular Darmanitan, because that's more than half. Usually they could take up Maybe like, uh, like it will bring him down to the red, lower yellow. But one shot would take us out with the flamethrower. Come on, pick something. I want to see his third Pokemon. He's going to go into his, back to his Hydreigon here, which is fine by me. I said it's fine by me as long as we can heal. Yo, we are still, what's it called? Dynamax? Wow. Wow, we only shot off two shots. That's crazy. I thought that was a third. He's going to go into a Draco Meteor. Can we eat that up? No, we do not. No, but it actually works. This special attack is going to harshly fall. So until he swaps out, it's going to be down for the count. So now with all that going on, with all that going on, we... Should we rock out into our Mimikyu here and start a Swords Dance? We could. We could start a Swords Dance. But I think that Dark would be super effective. I think Safe Play would probably just go into our... What's it called? What's it called? Our Milo Tech and just start... Icy Wind in a way. Because I don't think we get uh, buffeted. Do we get buffeted? We might. We might. We might not. We'll see in the long run. But we're going to go straight into an Icy Wind here. I don't see this guy actually having too much to take me out with this Hydreigon. I can see him. Is he Choice Scarf? No way he's Choice Scarf. He's rocking. He's uh, going with U-Turn. So he's probably going to go into a Dark Pulse or something. We're going to rock into an Ice Move. Maybe we should have went for the Scald. But I think he's going to swap out into like a Water Pokemon. He's going to go into the Mimikyu. Wow. I'll take that any day that we... Are you kidding me? Like, is this a joke? He saves his disguise. He's going to go into a sword stance, which is not a big deal for me, considering we are a tank. We got to go for the burn. We're going to go for the burn, baby. But I'm just mad that that, uh, that, that missed. We could have just took off his disguise. It was a free hit. He just got lucky, dude. Why is everyone getting lucky against me? It's ridiculous. I'm sick of it. I am sick of it. Now, why is everyone taking longer turns? Is this because I'm higher tier? He's gonna go into a sword dance, of course. If we would have hit that first hit with that icy wind, he would have never went for that sword dance. But we will eat up uh, some shots. We will eat up some shots. And we're gonna go off with the skull, take off his disguise. He's gonna get buffed it, and we get the burn, baby. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Milo Tick is coming up clutch. He's such a good Pokemon. This thing's an absolute beast. Absolute beast. We get the hail buff it, and we get the burn rolling here. Just beautiful. We're gonna use our leftovers. No problem, no problem. I don't think Milotic should get buffeted by hell, but eh, it's whatever. She's not, I don't think she's part ice. I think she's just all water. Such a cool Pokemon. I love her design and all that. We're going to go straight into a, what's it called? It's called here. He's going to, oh, wow, he's not Dynamaxing. Wowzers, we eat that up. We're going to go into our Skull, do some work. This thing is life, though. We're going to take a ton of damage here for no reason, man. This might take him out. Show me that buffet. The hell did stop, but the burn is going to take some shots from him i'm actually gonna go straight for a uh do we go for a protect or is this thing dynamax i say we still go for a protect either way because either way if this thing gets a hit on us we're just gonna uh waste down the burn we're just gonna burn it. if he goes for a dynamax we'll soak it up he'll life form 
and then burn will take him out for the final here but yeah there's no way he's gonna dynamax he's saving that for his hydragon but we are chilling with our pokemon that we have we are definitely chilling with the pokemon that we did bring up with us we're gonna go straight for a protect let the burn do a little bit of work and then go into a recover so that doesn't want it he doesn't want this burn will uh, take him out he's gonna get one more play rough on us and the life orb will take him out no problem no problem it will take him out which is awesome burn burn baby so I like to see, dude, Milo Tick is such a good stall Pokemon. For real, dude, for real. I can, like, imagine rocking Toxapec, uh, Milo Tick, and then, like, a Ferrothorn. Like, jeez, dude. But our attack's gonna fall. No problem. We are a special attack Pokemon, and we just went for competitive. And our special attack did raise. Light Forward will take you out. We're gonna get a free recover here. No problem. I love it. I love it. We're gonna use recover. Mwah. Give me all that health back. And he's going to go into his final Pokemon, which is the Hydreigon. Could potentially see a Dynamax Hydreigon coming out here. But Leftover is going to pop off here. We're going to go straight into an Icy Wind right off the bat. Do some work on it on him, considering our special attack is up. And we could potentially drop his speed, which would be nice. Which would be awesome. Who's rocking our last spot? We brought our Manitan. Oh, we got the Mimikyu. We got the Mimikyu rocking a Disguise also, which is nice. Icy Wind's going to pop out here. And we might be rocking Shadow Sneak, so that is a free two hits. That's free two hits. But I don't know if it's super effective. But we do have that fairy move on him too. Now, uh, Ghost won't really do much to him. But we have that fairy move on our Mimikyu in the back end. He's going to go straight for a Dynamax. If you don't, I don't know what you were doing. Because you haven't used your Dynamax yet. But our Milo Tick should be able to eat. She should be able to eat up. Dude, she's so strong. Here comes his Dynamax. Yep. But our Icy Wind's gonna, going to pop out here. And we're potentially going to get a, uh, a speed decrease. Which would be awesome, man. I'm actually hyped for it. Hype for that speed decrease. Hopefully we can get it. That could be huge, actually. Because if this thing can go below speed, my Mimikyu, we got this game in the bag. But I see us taking out two hits from this thing. And then our disguise eating up that third one. Max Darkness comes out here. We'll eat it up. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, there we go. Like I said, we're going to eat up that hit right there. Then we're going to go into a Icy Wind. Our special defense is going to fall. But our attack's going to raise. Yo, we're plus two attack. Let's go. This Icy Wind sh should do some work. Yes, drop his speed. Drop it. Drop it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. His speed does fall. Now, what's the call? Do we go into a protect and potentially eat up another hit here? Is that the call? Is that the call? Or do we go straight into an Icy Wind? Let's go into a protect. Let's go into a protect. We should go first. Use this protect. And now we should be able to eat up another hit here from this thing. We should be able to eat it up because the protect should take it out or uh, take it down enough damage for us to eat it up. There we go! That's what you like to see. We're going to waste all three of his Dynamax turns with this Milo Tick right here. And we're going to raise our special attack one more time, man. One more time. Imagine if we outspeed this thing. If we outspeed this thing, that'd be unreal. Considering his speed is down one, but I don't see us really outspeeding it. Let's go into one last Icy Wind. We're either going to die here or probably take it out here. Let's see. Do we outspeed? We do! Is that the game? That is the game! Clutch Milo Tick once again, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, that Mimikyu doesn't even see the battle. Dude, Milo Tick is so strong, man. Crazy. Here's one last look at this team. Dude, I had a ton of fun actually playing this team, considering it is something so off meta, so different than the regular singles teams and all that. I actually had a lot of fun rocking out with that Milo Tick, that Bravey Ari. And that Arcanine Dracovich, all these Pokemon were so much fun to play. If you guys would like to try out this team for yourself, you got the rental code in the bottom of the screen. Also, let me know in the comments section down below other singles teams or double teams. If you'd like to see me play doubles, let me know in the comment section down below. But if you have rental codes, I would love to use you guys' own rental codes. So if you guys have like fully IV teams, like good teams for ranked battles, leave the rental code in the comment section down below. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.